Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back to my channel. Now this is a brand new feature, hooray, a brand new feature for my channel. This is New In. Now guys, I would love to take full credit for this feature, but unfortunately I can't. I've actually nicked the idea of my friend Fleur, Fleur de Forest, who does it for New In Beauty, and she looks at all these sort of beauty products that are just coming out, and I thought, I'm going to take it for the guys. So this is my new in. I'm also thinking I can do it with style. I can do it maybe just hair products, maybe just skin products. This is a bit of a mixed one. Um, also, guys, I'm not going to be doing full reviews. This is me really just saying, this is out tomorrow, this is out the next day. Kind of what it does and give you a bit of an overview of the brand and if it is something that you should be looking out for. Um, if there are things I'm talking about and you want me to go into more depth, then do say, and we can maybe do a video about that. Um, also, this could be quite wordy. It's already quite wordy, so... Grab yourself a tea, a coffee, a Coca-Cola, Pepsi Max, an instant coffee. Um, I've run out of my good coffee, so I'm on the instant. But here you go, guys. New in. My first one is a hair product by Tony and Guy. Now, I really like Tony and Guy as a brand. They've got sort of two separate parts to it. They've got one in salon, which are the slightly more high-end products, and then they've got the Tony and Guy products, which are more the sort of high street ones and the stuff you'd kind of find in boots. Now, this is Flexi Definition Gel. You guys know I hate gel. Although it says it's a gel, I don't think this is a gel. It spritzes and it's more like a thickening tonic. It doesn't have those sort of gel-like particles. It's really sort of aqueous, which a gel really is. But I like to put it into my hair and use it just as that prep treatment. And then you also don't get those flakes. You know I hate the gel. Um, but this is actually pretty good. And it's cheap because it is those sort of high street products. I'm gonna link everything in the description below, so you do wanna check it out, you can do. But guys, I would say keep an eye out for this and don't be put off by it being called a gel. Tony and Guy, this is not a gel, this is a thickening tonic. This is a prep treatment. Second product is another hair product, and it's the second one that I've got in my hair here. And this is a texturizing, texturizing clay by the British Barber Association. Now, we have loads of hair products out now. I did actually do a tweet the other day which said, please stop with shave subscription boxes and also with hair products. So many people are bringing out hair products, and so many of them are so crap. Stop. If your product's crap, don't release it. This, however, is very good. Now, the British Barber Association, our association of barbers, wow. Um, but basically, they know their stuff, they know how to cut, they know how to style, they know what works. And I met with these guys to talk about the stuff that's coming out. But this, I really do like. One, because it's British, it's made in England, and two, it is very good and it does what it's supposed to. Um, key ingredient in this, volcanic ash and protein complex. Very nice. But this has got a really good flexible hold. And guys, I just think the quality of these products is great. This next product is again another brand new one and this is by Lab Series. Um, and this is their Matte Renewal Lotion. Again, I've got it on my skin. This is a product which is perfect for guys with slightly oilier skin. So it is a moisturizer, but this is so light. It's so light that it just glides onto your skin and it is going to give you a sort of matte look all day. Um, this retails at £48, so it is slightly higher end, but Lab Series is actually one of my favourites and these guys just really know about skincare. Um, they've also got the new face of Lab Series for this product, which is Pietro Bosselli, which is that super hot uh, maths teacher who kind of was massive and still is on Instagram, so they've got him. This is out on the 3rd of October, so I've got it before most people, which is exciting. Next up, it's Clinique, and it's two-in-one skin hydrator and beard moisturizer. Did I get that right? No. Two-in-one skin hydrator and beard conditioner. I just tried to remember that and, and didn't. Two-in-one skin hydrator and beard conditioner. Um, again, just out this month. This came out at the start of the month. Um, Clinique, again, another skincare brand. I love. But the thing about this is that you can get it right onto that facial hair area and what it's going to do is it's going to soften that stubble and also really moisturize your skin underneath. If you're a guy who has facial hair then you will know that if you don't get your skin moisturized you're going to get flaky bits, you're going to get lumps and bumps. I have really struggled with it because this facial hair is so new for me, I've had it for less than a year, I'm still getting to grips with what to do and what to use and this actually has been great. I wouldn't put it all over my face, again, because I do have that oily skin, so I would use something like um, the Lab Series one to do the full skin. I would then get a little bit of that two-in-one and just really get around into the moustache area and down here. Also, it's not greasy, you're not going to get any shine on it, um, but it's just a really great one just for ensuring that you keep this area nice and clean, soft and smooth. Now, guys, we are in a period of, like, fragrance mania. I 
reckon that there's a new fragrance launched for men literally every single day. And the amount of fragrances I get sent through is insane and I literally can't get through them all. I have a wall over there of fragrance, fragrance galore, some of which are literally the most beautiful fragrance I've ever smelled. Some of them, ooh, let's not use that ever again. Um, but this new one is good, I've got it in my pocket. This is by Zadig, Zadig and Voltaire. Do not drink the night before you film a video, Robin. We need to learn this. Zadig and Voltaire, which is a French fashion house. And um, they've got a men's and a women's one. I'm gonna show you. These are really woody and orientals. I'm not into floral. I'm not into anything too light and flimsy. I want something spicy and I want it on my skin. Um, but they've got a men's and a women's one. Super cute, they go together like this. My only thing about this is, if you've got two men's ones, they don't go together. And I just think equal opportunities for all. Also, if you've got two women's ones, again, they don't go together. Um, but these go together. These are priced at 36 pounds for a 30 mil for man, 38 pounds for women's. And um, I think this is because this is an eau de parfum. Parfum, this is an eau de toilette for the men's. Um, us boys, unfortunately, don't get the good stuff. But these are actually very good. And um, I would say though, controversial, I prefer the women's one. I actually think the men's one is almost more feminine and the women's one is slightly more masculine, um, which is a-okay because we should all be wearing what we want. Um, but yeah, these are out tomorrow. I've got hair on this. These are out tomorrow. Super cute. I think quite a nice present if you've got a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you just want to have the same fragrances. Again, guys, though, two men's don't go together. Let's sort that out. It's 2016. Two women should also go together. Right, my final thing is one more fragrance, and I think I've saved the best to last. Now this came out in June actually, I was at the launch party for it, and um, but I've actually held off saying anything about it because I really do think this is more an autumn winter fragrance. There are three of these, and they're by Omenia Gildo Zenia. And um, I've done ones of this on a more summer fragrance, again looking across there. But these ones, although they came out in June, they're really very, very autumn winter. So there's three of them. This one is musk gold, which is my absolute favorite. They've also got amber gold and incense gold. Now these are 145 pounds for 125 mils. This actually is so gorgeous. It's very oody. So again, you've got that slightly heavier sort of notes to it. It also smells really luxe. It's just something that I want to wear fake fur, not real fur, fake fur and just literally bathe in this because it smells so luxe. So there you go guys, my first ever new in. Um, I'm stood on something prickly, hold that thought. Off some new clothes which I'll be showing you on Thursday. Good link Robin. Um, so thank you so much for watching, hope you've enjoyed this. Do give me some feedback on this. Is new in something you like? Do you want to see new in just for hair, fragrances, skin? Do you want it all? Do you want style stuff? You guys decide. Um, but thank you again. If you did enjoy this and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then press subscribe. It's there or it's down there. It's free. It just means you're going to see all my new videos as soon as they go live. But guys, come back on Thursday. Thursday, I've got a really cool style video. I've got an essential that you need to pick up. So if you guys don't know what to buy for this fall slash autumn, I've got it covered. Do not worry. Just one piece. We'll get into more. Uh, but guys, I'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye. Let's have a spritz. I've got moisturizer on my hands, I can't get into this. Oh, ah! oh my god. <laughs> so what is this an outtakes video today?